Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on games and tournament. It says that in a football tournament between three teams, the following facts are known. Each team got two points for scoring a goal against the opponent team. Each team received one extra point for scoring a goal from outside D. So that's a bonus point. And the third condition is each team incurred a penalty of one point for every goal conceded. So let us say a team scores three goals, will get three into two. Suppose there is one bonus goal, so that is one. And against, if there are five goals, so it will lose five points. And uh, that will be the final score of the team. Okay, so that is what is given to us. Three, including one bonus, minus five. So this is how you calculate the points. Now we are given information about three matches between A and B between A and C and between B and C. Now we are given that in the match between A and B, team B got 4 points and was the winner of the game. Team A scored 2 goals in this game. So we have 2 things, one is goal and one is point. So it is given that team B got 4 points and A scored 2 goals. And no player scored a goal from outside D. So no bonus point in this. Now the thing is to find out how many goals each team scored. Now let us try to understand. If a team scores N goals. Okay, and like score is N. And like concede. Or you can call it for and against. If for is N. So you will get two N points. If against is also N. You will get n points and you will lose n points. So basically if 4 is equal to against, you will net get gain 1 point. Okay. Now A got A scored 2 goals. Okay. So that means against B there were 2 goals. If A is scoring 2 goals, these are against B and B is getting net 4 points. So that means B lost 2 points here. So B must have scored 6 points through goals. 6 points through goals and losing 2 points here. Net net 4 points. So 6 point means B has to score 3 goals since there is no bonus. It says that uh, <coughs> no team, no player scored a goal from outside D. So that means B scored 3 goals. Okay. So now we have got the number of goals. Now we will count the points for A. So A scored 2 goals. So 4 points minus 3. So A got 1 point. So basically the score line is goal 2-3. A lost by 2, 3 and points are 1 and 4 respectively. Now, in the match between B and C, since we have written it here, team B got 6 points. So, B is getting 6 points. Team C scored 1 more goal than team B. One player from team B scored a goal from outside D. And we need to find out the points. Okay. So, one player from... Now, if team B is getting 6 points. So, if let us say... For every for and against, right? If for is equal to against, that means you get n points. Like if you scored n goals. Now against C scored one more goal. So against becomes plus one. Okay. Against is plus one. So that means your score will be n minus one. Okay. Now there is, uh, see this for they scored, <coughs> for will give them uh, like, uh, so if for and against n points through bonus they are getting one more point like team B scored one goal from outside D so it becomes plus one and against there is one goal because it says that team C scored one more goal so if there were equal then it would be n plus one minus one so it results in n goals so that means they scored six goals and C scored seven goals so six goals would have given them 12 points okay one bonus point minus 7 for conceding that is 6 points. Now C scored 7 goals so 14 points and 6 against them so C got 8 points. So B versus C this is the goal and this is the point score line. Now coming to the third match between A and C. So it says that in the game between A and C team C had 0 points. So point is 0. Only one player from team A scored a goal from outside D. So A gets that bonus point. And team A scored 4 points in this match. Okay. Now, team A scored 4 points. Team C scored 0 points. 
so this means now in one goal like if if in a match there are there is a goal scored okay so net net score what is the net score so let us see that we know the total points so for one goal a team will get two points the team which is conceding it loses one point so net score per goal is one point okay now in a bonus goal the team which is scoring is getting three points the team which is conceding is getting two points so bonus goal gives you two points so there is one bonus goal and there are two normal goals so that is total three goals in this match okay total will be three goals and there is one bonus goal scored by a and <coughs> total three goals now the score line can be see a is getting more points obviously it can be 3 0 or 2 1 but can it be 3 0 if c scores zero goals then it will have negative points okay because it will lose three points for conceding a goal so that means c scored just one goal and scored two goals now let us verify c scored one goal so gets two points for this and then concedes two so two minus two zero points team a scored two goals so two plus three there is one bonus goal also so five points and conceded one five minus one four points so this gives us the score lines of all these matches so goals and points scored right so these are the goals of each the matches and the points so now we can answer the questions based on this how many goals did team c score against team b so team c against team b they scored seven goals what is the total number of goals scored by team a in its two matches so here it scored two goals and two goals a total of four goals what is the goal what was the goal difference in the match between team a and team c team a and team c the goal difference is of one goal if exactly three players scored goals from team b what is the maximum number of goals scored by a single player of team b in its two matches put together now this is a question wherein we need to see that in this match team b scored three goals okay and in this match team b scored six goals don't go with the points go with the goals so six and three total nine goals now it says exactly three players scored goals we need to find the maximum number of goals by a player so total nine goals so if we assume that two players score one one goals the third player scores seven so we can have a maximum of seven score goals seven goals scored by a single player it is not given that in each match a player has to score a goal it says that exactly three players scored goals from team b so maybe like one 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 and all six scored by one person or it could be three scored by one person four and one one from others so it does not matter the total goals scored are nine so if we assume the least two two of the other players one player can score a maximum of seven goals that is what they have asked if there is no penalty for conceding a goal how many points would team b have scored against team a so team b scored uh, four points against team a okay and if there were no penalty so they would get two more points so they would have got six points in this match b against a they lost two points here so they would have scored six instead of four points so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions i hope you found this set interesting slightly different in terms of score lines